Hello everyone, and welcome to The Future is Bright. You'll notice that our game is not bright. You start off in a dark and musty room. It may look a little like your room. There's a computer, there's some clothes, a bed, the normal stuff. You go in from the very beginning trying to find your way. You're in your home, but you're not sure what to do. Oh look, there's a key. Let's pick that up. I saw a keyhole over there. Let's try it. It works. What a coincidence. There's a telescope in a childhood treasure box. A reminder of a time where the world seemed different. And through it, the world looks a little brighter. 2020 Vision. When our group heard those words, we wanted to reflect on the events that happened this year. We wanted to build a game based off that emotion, the particular emotions that were attached to that number. But all we could think of in our brainstorming was the bad. It started to overshadow all of the good in the world. So we focused on simulating those feelings in a visual atmosphere and looking at the positive. Right now, a lot of people are in their home isolation, hearing about all the terrible things going on in the outside world. But the world is what you choose to make it. It's how you choose to see it. And that is what we were trying to capture. It may look dark and musty now, but if you choose to look towards that brighter future, you can use the hope of that future to overcome obstacles in your present. The goal of our game is simple. Switch between the vision of the present and the future to interact with objects and solve puzzles in order to progress. With each room you complete, you bring it into that brighter future. The game is meant to be self-teaching. With no language, you have to discover how the world works around you and decipher puzzles based on your surroundings. Our game is about finding the future for yourself, and deciding, if I want that future, I have to do the work. I have to put the pieces back together and move forward towards that future to make it a reality. You switch between the future and the present through the use of a telescope, as it's something that lets you see further away. In this case, it lets you see the faraway future. And sometimes you need to take a piece of the future to make it work in the present. Even if we're stuck at home now, there will be a day that we get out and move forward. The future is bright, only if you choose to make it that way. And that is the point of our game. I hope you enjoy our RDC Game Jam 2020 submission. Thank you for listening.